Hello all, I am the Holland Phantom, and for today's video we're going to be having a live battle from the 2013 format. On one side, we've got the Team Plasma deck as used by Yugo Sato, the runner-up in the Junior Division of the 2013 World Championships, going up against the Rayquaza Electric deck as used by Clement Lamberton, the runner-up in the Senior Division. So we'll see which of these two decks can take the victory today. But before we begin, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel and to my Twitter account, at Holland underscore Phantom, so you don't miss out on any new Pokemon TCG content. And now with that out of the way, let's get into the battle! And here we go, the battle has started, with both players swing over their starting Pokemon. On the Plasma side, we've got Thunderous as the active Pokemon with the Kyurem on the bench, and on the Rayquaza side, we've got Tynamo as the active Pokemon with another Tynamo on the bench. The Rayquaza side is going first, activating Energy Search, to search a deck for a Lightning Energy to add to the player's hand. And it looks like the Lightning Energy is going to be coming down to the active Tynamo to power up its attack or its retreat cost. Next up, now we, there we see a Pokemon Catcher to bring up the opposing Kyurem into the active spot, followed by the Stadium, Tropical Beach, and the supporter, Professor Juniper, to discard the player's hand to draw seven brand new cards. So let's see if the player has any more Pokemon or item cards to play. There we see another Tynamo coming down to the bench, and Rayquaza. It's going to be the main attacker of this deck. And now Tynamo's going to be retreating to promote the Rayquaza. It cannot attack this turn because the player cannot give any, any more energy cards, but it does get this Tynamo out of harm's way. And then we see a level ball now. Searching the deck for any Pokemon with 90 HP or fewer. And the Pokemon chosen is going to be Electric, so one of these Tynamo will be able to evolve on the following turn. And finally, there we see Tropical Beach activating, letting the player draw cards until they have 7 cards in their hand, but it does end their turn. And now over to the Team Plasma side. The player starts off by using Team Plasma Ball to search the deck for any Team Plasma Pokemon. And the one chosen is going to be Deoxys coming down to the bench. Deoxys does have the ability called Power Connect, increasing the attack power of all Team Plasma Pokemon by 10. Next we see a Water Energy coming down to the active Kyurem, followed by Computer Search. It's a powerful A-spec card in this format, so you can only play one per deck. It does uh, discard two cards from the hand for any card from the deck. And the one chosen is going to be a Chlorest Machine, which is immediately activated to get a Plasma Energy out of the deck onto the Kyurem, so it's powered up to use its first attack. Next we see the supporter for the turn, Professor Juniper, discarding the player's hand to draw seven brand new cards. Let's see if they get any more Pokemon or item cards to play on this side. Here we see a second Kyurem coming down to the bench. There's the attack, Frost Spear hitting Rayquaza for 40 damage and sniping one of the Tynamo for 30 damage. Okay, so the Team Plasma side is off to a pretty good start. Now over to the Rayquaza side once again. A Kel DOEX comes down to the bench, which then gets a Float Stone giving it a free retreat cost. And now the damaged Tynamo is going to be evolving into Electric to give it more HP and access to the ability Dynamotor. Then we see another level ball being played to get another Pokemon out of the deck. It's going to be a second Electric, so now the player has access to two Dynamotors, each one getting back a Lightning Energy from the discard pile onto one of their benched Pokemon. And there's the supporter for the turn, Colress, Shuffling away the player's hand and drawing one card for every benched Pokemon on both sides, so for a total of seven. Okay, let's see what else the player can do for this turn. They've got two electrics so far, so pretty good uh, second turn of the game. Then we see the third level ball to get the third electric, and yeah, they've got a really good start so far. With three energy accelerators, Rayquaza can deal a lot of damage. Then we see the energy attachment from the hand, a fire energy, and now Keldeo jumps into the active spot with its rush in ability. So with uh, Rayquaza on the bench, it can be powered up by the Dynamotors. Then we see two Dynamotors getting two lightning energy back. Oh, but it looks like the player does not have the third Lightning Energy. So with only two Lightning Energy cards, Rayquaza can only uh, hit for 120 damage. Yeah, it's not going to be enough for the KO. Keldia retreats to promote the Rayquaza. There's the attack, Dragon Burst. Discarding both Lightning Energy to hit for 120 damage, just 10 damage short of the KO. And next, if, player, if the player has a second Water Energy for the Kyurem, they can take the KO against this Rayquaza. And yes, they do have it. They attach a Prism Energy, which counts as a Rainbow Energy when equipped to a basic Pokémon. The player then activates another Cold Rest Machine to get a Plasma Energy out of the deck onto the Bench Kyurem now, just to get it powered up for a future turn. There's the attack, Blizzard Burn, hitting for 130 damage, just enough to take the KO against Rayquaza, 
and taking the first two prizes of the game. Team Plasma's got a pretty good lead so far. Back over to the Rayquaza side, Keldeo comes into the active spot, and the player activates Professor Juniper to discard their hand and draw seven cards. They do need a new attacker. Let's see what they get. Okay, there we see another Rayquaza coming down, followed by Ultra Ball. The player discards two cards from her hand for any Pokemon from the deck, and let's see what they choose. It's going to be Raikou EX coming out of the bench. It's a second attacker. And they just need to deal 10 damage to this Curum to knock it out, so Raikou should be enough with its Thunderfang attack. There we see all three Dynamotors activating, getting three Lightning Energy out of the discard pile. There we see one Lightning Energy onto Rayquaza, and two onto Raikou to power up its Thunderfang. And now Keldeo is going to be retreating to promote the Raikou, and that will be the first KO for the Rayquaza side. There's Thunderfang to knock out the Curum. That is one prize taken by Rayquaza so far. They're in the game, but there's still one prize behind. Okay, Thunderous EX comes up as a new active Pokemon for the Team Plasma side. And let's see what they can do. Thunderous gets a Float Stone to give it a free retreat cost, the same as a Keldeo. And here's the support for the turn, N, forcing both players to shuffle away their hands and draw one card for each of the remaining prize cards. So the Plasma side gets to draw four, and Rayquaza gets to draw five. The Thunderous player does need at least one Lightning Energy to be able to attack this turn. And there's a Team Plasma Ball getting another Deoxys out of the deck to increase the attack power of all Team Plasma Pokemon by 20 so far. And yes, it did have the Lightning Energy. There's the attack, right in Knuckle, hitting for 50 damage. 30 base damage, plus 20 more for, each, uh, for the Deoxys on the bench. And then Raiden Knuckle also gets back a discarded Prism Energy to equip onto the Curum. Okay, on the Rayquaza side, there's a Dynamotor getting a Lightning Energy onto the bench Rayquaza. And there's Pokemon Catcher to bring up the opposing Curum. The player's going to be trying to knock it out before it gets a chance to attack. Oh, there we see uh, the manual attachment from the hand. It's going to be another Lightning Energy. The player does not have Fire Energy to power up the Dragon Burst. So they're going to be trying to paralyze Kyurem with the Thunder Fang. Oh, but the coin flip was Tails. Kyurem is not paralyzed. It will be able to attack. If the player has another Water Energy. Yeah, they do. They're going to be able to take the KO against Raikou with another Blizzard Burn attack. So the Rayquaza player might be regretting bringing the Kyurem up with the Pokemon Catcher. There we see another N, once again forcing both players to shuffle away their hands. The Plasma side draws 4, and Rayquaza draws 5. But the advantage is still on the Plasma side. There's the attack, Blizzard Burn, taking the KO against Raikou. And now they've taken 4 prizes, they just gotta take a KO against one more EX Pokemon to win this game. Okay, Keldeo comes back up to the active spot, and there we see another Rayquaza coming down to the bench, followed by a Floatstone coming down to one of the Electric. And there's another Professor Juniper to discard the hand and draw seven new cards. The player gets needs to draw just one Fire Energy to allow Rayquaza to attack. Let's see if they get it. And yes, they did. Fire Energy to power up with a Dragon Burst attack. And they still have access to the Dynamotors. Okay, there's two Dynamotors activating, getting two Lightning Energy back. And they're both coming down to the new Rayquaza, just spreading the energy around. There we go. And now it looks like Keldeo is going to be retreating to promote Rayquaza, and that will be the KO. There's the attack, Dragon Burst, hitting for 180 damage. Easily taking the knockout against Kyurem, and Rayquaza takes their second prize. But there's still two prizes behind, they gotta take some more KOs if they want to get into this game. Thunderous comes back up into the active spot. And there we see Skyla. Skyla allows the player to search the deck for any trainer card, and the one chosen is going to be an Ultra Ball, which is immediately activated, discarding two cards from the player's hand for any Pokemon from the deck. And then we see the third Kyurem coming down. Kyurem is probably the strongest attacker in this deck, as it does deal a lot of damage, plus it only gives up one prize card on KO. A Water Energy is equipped to the new Kyurem, and there's the attack, right in Knuckle, hitting for 50 damage and then getting back a... What kind of energy is it going to be? 
Uh, Prism Energy onto the bench Kyurem now. It just needs one more energy to use Blizzard Burn. On the Rayquaza side, Keldeo jumps into the active spot once again with Rush in. And now with Rayquaza on the bench, you're going to be powered up with the Dynamotors. All three Dynamotors activate now, getting all three energy onto Rayquaza. So it's fully powered up to take the KO against Thunderous. And then the new Rayquaza also gets a Fire Energy, so they're both powered up. And there we see a Pokemon Catcher bringing up the Kyurem. Okay, and it looks like this time it will be enough to take the KO. As Rayquaza can hit for 180 damage. Okay, Keldeo retreats once again to promote the Rayquaza. And there's the attack. Dragon Burst hitting for 180 damage to take the KO against Kyurem before it gets a chance to attack. Thunderous comes into the active spot once again. And let's see what the Plasma player can do. Okay, no cards are played. They're going straight for the attack. Right and Knuckle hitting for 50 damage. And then attaching a Plasma Energy onto one of the Deoxys. They don't have any more Kyurem to attack with. Okay, let's see what the Rayquaza player can do. Here we see uh, Keldeo jumping back into the active spot. There's the three Dynamotors. One energy onto the full HP Rayquaza, and then two energy onto the damaged one. So the second Rayquaza can take the KO against his Kyurem now. Okay, so it looks like Rayquaza is finally going to be getting into the lead. Caldea retreats to promote the new Rayquaza. With three lightning energy, it can hit for 180 damage. There's the attack, Dragon Burst. Taking the one-hit KO against Thunderous and taking two prizes. Rayquaza has finally taken the lead. They've just got one more prize left. Okay, here we see Deoxys EX coming up as a new attacker now. It just needs a Psychic Energy to power up its Helix Force attack. Okay, the player does have the Prism Energy. Deoxys cannot take the KO against the active Rayquaza. They need to draw a Pokemon Catcher off this end. If they can get Pokemon Catcher, they can bring up the damaged Rayquaza and knock it out. Let's see if they get it off these two cards. Oh, but they didn't get it! They just attacked with Helix Force into the new Rayquaza, and that should be the game. There we see all three Dynamotors getting three Lightning Energy back onto the bench Rayquaza, giving it five Lightning Energy total. More than enough to take the KO. There's all the energy coming down. The active one retreats to promote the new one. And there's the attack. Dragon Burst hitting for a giant 300 damage to take the final KO. And there's the handshake. Rayquaza is your winner. So what did you guys think of that battle? Let me know down in the comments below. And be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and share this video to help this channel grow and reach new viewers. Thanks a lot for watching. And until next time, this is the Holland Phantom logging out.